Hi, I'm Amy Cassandra Martinez for Red Carpet Report, and we're in Hollywood for the 2018 Radio Disney Music Awards. So, uh, what are you most excited to see tonight? I mean, it's always so much fun to get everyone together, but what are you most excited to see? I'm most excited to see Miss Jackson if you're nasty. To be honest, I and mean, of course I'm dating myself a little bit, but no. she was an she's an icon. Exactly. And I um, I've always had an affinity towards the whole family. I, I was in a one of the videos for Jermaine um, as a dancer because I used to be a dancer when I was really young, when I was your age in New York. We shot it in a prison, and it was called Dynamite. I remember it was we shot it all night long, and it was just so much fun. And um, you know the whole Rhythm Nation album was a staple in in my you know car all the time and and i just love her so oh I'm, I'm excited for her to receive this award and just to be able to see her on stage i hope she performs i don't i don't know if she will be but you never know though that this is radio awesome. Disney. that yeah that's true maybe they could talk her into it yeah yeah so now what was the first memory you have listening to music like ever oh gosh i'm dating myself here okay. but um yeah the beatles you know, and, and I, I think that they're so classic and iconic that it's nice to see young people who really love the Beatles as well. And like, I, I have teenagers and my older one, his, you know, his favorite artist is Bruce Springsteen. And, nice. and so it's nice, you know, when we took him to see him in concert, I think he was the youngest one there. But it's, I think that classic, you know, rock and pop and whatever it is, yeah. when it becomes classic, it really does transcend all the generations. So that's kind of nice to see. Which I, I like because, you know, of course we're celebrating music, but it's also thinking about how far music has come since, you know, before we were even born. Right. But uh, like even Andrea Bocelli. So I went to a concert of his and I was, like you said, the youngest person of there. You were. So it's like you shouldn't ever feel ashamed for your taste. Oh God, because no. you, I mean, hey, we all like different kinds of music. That's right. And, it, and it's so healing music and it's so universal that it cuts across everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, race, any kind of tension that we might have as human beings. Once you get that music going, it just kind of like, it's like a, almost a soul connection where we're all, you know, we're all really more alike than we are different. And so. Completely agree, which yeah. I love. I love so much. So what are you currently listening to now while driving? Um, well, you know, Paul Simon is doing his farewell tour right now. So I'm really enjoying listening and having a throwback to all of his music, to Simon and Garfunkel and, you know, you Can Call Me Al is probably my favorite song. And I got married to that song down the aisle oh instead God. of like, dun, 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 dun. It was like, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> so I, it was thrilling for me. I just saw him at the, Holly, at the Hollywood Bowl. And it was just, I was crying because it was so moving to be able to see someone, a legend like that. And um, I, I also got to see Paul McCartney at one time. And I, I felt the same way because those, those guys, you know, they really know how to put on a show, number one. And just the level of genius going on there, you know, you feel blessed and privileged to be alive during the time that they were alive and you get to experience that and I, as I said before music can be so healing that no matter what mood I'm in if I put on you can call me out it changes me and so I'm, I'm so happy that my kids are understanding that too now and so they use that as a tool you know trying to navigate their way through all of this what all the crazy things going on in the world right now and so I'm glad that we all have music in order to be able to help us. You know, we also have Bizarre Bark. So <laughs> that's right. We also have that and Andy Mac. Yeah. <laughs> and Andy Mac and all these Disney shows that are just so fantastic. So what can you tell us about what's coming up? Uh, well we're shooting season three now. Of course I'm I'm sworn to secrecy about any spoilers, but you know, suffice it to say that I think all of the characters go or continue to go through changes, which keeps it interesting for us and, and the audience as well, because that's how it is in real life, like hopefully, yeah. that, that we all continue to evolve. Yeah. And you know, my character Cece has been so tightly wound and the disciplinarian and the strict one from the beginning that what's lovely to see is that now that Vex is coming into the picture to take on more of the role of mother, I get to be the fun grandma now. And the, you know, cause normally, the grandma, the grandparents get to spoil the kids exactly. and have fun, but I, I haven't really been able to do that until now because I felt too responsible to make sure she turned out all right. But in many ways, I think that Andy is actually a little bit more like Cece than Bex because she, she values structure a little bit more. 
Which I like. I, I do too. Well, and what is it like, last question for you, uh, to work with these kids? I mean, you get to see them grow up, but what is it like, you know, on Andy Mac? Honestly, I can say, because I've been in this business for probably 30 years, this show is the first show I've ever been on where the entire cast genuinely loves each other. And there isn't any of that competitive, bickering tension underneath. They truly are so bonded, and I, and I think that's because Disney just hit it this time. They picked the right people because the, the values that these kids have, I'm blown away by them um, as far as just being really good people, let alone being talented, you know, because they're kind and talented. And so, like, whenever we have someone come visit on set or there's a guest star that comes in, they're so welcoming. And, and that shows you right there that, that, you know, they're not the kind of people that would just be nice to you because they think they can get something from you. And so I'm, I'm beyond impressed and proud of these kids. And, and it's, it's a privilege to see them grow up, too. I mean, Peyton was 11 when I met her. And she's 14 now. And, and she just, just to see that, you know, progression. And she's, they're all so smart, too. That's oh the other gosh. thing. And those are, those are very important years. 11 to 14. Oh, my what? God. When I was that age, I was, like, really just <laughs> clueless. Same. I think so. we all were. Yeah. But thank you so thank much you. for talking to us. Have fun. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more content. And in the comments down below, let me know. What do you think the song of the summer is going to be?